Hey, what's up and what's going on? This is your boy Al, a.k.a. Fishing with Big Al. And I hope everybody's enjoying your week. This is Wednesday, June 7th. Uh, went out on Monday after the heavy storm that took place on Sunday and uh, through some top water. It's been kind of sluggish lately, period. No matter what it, the conditions of the uh, water has been, I've been noticing in the surf, it hasn't been a lot of action even before that storm came, came through. I haven't really been saying too much. The water clarity is really clear, um, and the storm didn't make it any better. So I don't know. Maybe the clarity is, is you know, you need some conditions where it's got a little murkiness to it so it can kind of throw the fish off a little bit. But I just know that if you're fishing anywhere like the uh, surf, if you're fishing from land and, you, and you're up and down the surf, uh, the sargasm grass is still there. Um, in some spots, you can got you got other areas you can go to to get away from it before the tide comes in and then pull it off the beach. And then, you know, you're going to have the problem, uh, of course. But for the most part, some of the areas I've been going to, it don't even need to be pulled off the beach. It's still there. It's just there. So anyway, in this video, this is fishing after the storm, like on Monday. And um, here's some trout. Uh, nothing major. There was some trout being caught by people that were uh, freelining. I, I want to say croaker is probably what they were freelining. I didn't ask them. Um, but they were all small. There wasn't anything. I, they, they did catch some keepers, but there wasn't anything major, like nothing that really, you know, made you say, there it is. You know, that's the one we've been looking for. So uh, let's go ahead and get to the video. And I hope everybody's enjoying your life. Like I say, man, like I always do. Whatever lane you're riding in, if you're enjoying it and it's not bringing anybody any harm, uh, including to yourself, you know what I'm saying? If you're not having any harm to yourself and it's not harming anybody else, then do what you like doing, man. Enjoy your life. You only got one to live. Let's go ahead and get to it. Fish on, baby. Peace. morning on that super spook baby what's up y'all what's up this is your boy al another beautiful blessed morning to be up and about able to do what you love doing in life baby and that is anything that you like doing in life whatever your love is whatever your lane is if you love doing it and you can get up and do it whenever you want to and enjoy it then that's a plus that's a win-win baby so enjoying it right now Wish I'd have bought some mullet. These guys killing it. I think they're using uh, some croaker probably. I'm using my I'm using my plug. I mean I'm using my uh, spooks because that is what my go-to weapon is of choice. And I'm getting into it, right? So still learning it. I'm uh, I'm usually a live bait, fish bite type of dude, but. There's something about these top water, man. If you can come out early in the morning, get some of that under your belt, man, it's a rush in itself, especially when you never do it, if you don't do it on the regular. So, but I got one so far, it hit him right here close to the rock, over here at Fish Pass. So I'm gonna throw back out again with this red and white spook and see if we can get into something right quick. Sun coming up now, so maybe they might get a little more active. And see this uh, water, this top water going across and respond to it. Yeah, he just got a nice one. I think he's missing it. All right. Let's see what we can do. Look at this, man. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Had some rain yesterday. It made it seem like it was going to rain again later on this afternoon, so. If it does, 
At least I know I got out of here before it came in. Yesterday blew me out. I even tried to run away from it and go further down. And it just followed me all the way down. I went all the way down by NASA Seashore right before you go in. Uh, trying to think it was going to stay up here. By the uh, Packery. And it moved all the way down just as fast as it moved in the Packery. That's how fast it caught up with me down by Nassau Seashore. So, so I hope everybody, man, enjoying your, enjoying whatever you got going on in your life, baby. Do what you like to do. But this world is getting a little more crazier. It's always been like that, but now you just see it firsthand all the time. You're not surprised now when you see it. It's all over. I might have to change out to my yellow one in a few. Or I might go to my bone. That bone does pretty good too, that white one. But this red and white one is the one I caught the biggest on so far. It's right at 21. I want me a, I want me one of them one of them logs flop. One of them log trout. One of them log, log size trout. One of that big boy. Just to hit one. First time I ever hit one that big was in Mississippi. He was about 28, 29 inches. And I was fishing with uh, DOAs at that time. Oh no, I take that back. That was actually Molly. I was using my DOA and I was catching flounder with that. And I threw the mullet out over at the Coast Guard Base Pier in Mississippi, down at Pascagoula. And man, this big old, this big old trout came and hit it. Biggest trout I had ever caught. This is the thing about when you don't do this a lot, you don't really know which one is supposed to be the best, how long you use it. <laughs> I mean, now for this right here, I always talk about patience, but ah, for this right here, it's kind of been patient, right? Cause you like, how come you ain't working? You're a top water. If they here, they should be banging it. But sometimes it just don't happen like that. So this is when my patience is really needed cause this is something I don't do on a regular. So I'll switch out and go with another one real quick. But the sun not even really up yet. So I don't even think color really matters. It's just, man, I think it matters. There we go. There we go, y'all. I don't know what this is, but it could be a ladyfish. I don't think it's a trout. No, it's a trout. It is a trout. It is a trout. Little baby, though. Too small. Too small. But that's what it is. Get them back in the water. So I don't know if fish pads hold a lot of small trout or not. Somebody told me to take this middle one out, and I might have to take them up on that. I might have to take them up on that, because this middle one, he said it can be the one to give you a lot of trouble when you're hitting your fish. So he said if you take that one out, you should be all right with using these. Get them in the water. Without getting myself caught up. Shrimp, he was out there biting. Uh oh, small popper, though. Buddy was caught on shrimp, so hopefully, there's some bigger ones out there, but I'm gonna throw them back. A little too small. I cut that head and that tail off, I ain't got nothing. So, no use to doing them in like that. But hopefully, that's a good sign. what it could have been, but that's on shrimp, so let's see. Definitely came up and smacked it, didn't it? 
Could be a ladyfish, but that's crazy if it is. I never caught ladyfish. Oh, shit. Calm down, buddy. Ooh, if you were bigger, I'd take you to the house, but you ain't big enough. Calm down. Oh, he barely got caught in, caught in the dorsal, in the fin, in the nose. So, God, yeah. 